Hey, what's up? It's Adam Smith from the Commander Smiths, and today I am working on Teferi Master of Time. Uh, this bad boy should be in nearly every single blue commander deck or any splash of blue because uh, it has so much draw. It actually protects itself, extra turns if you ultimate. I figured it's time to make a proxy of this guy because I have not yet to make one. So uh, today, working on Teferi Master of Time, have some interesting ideas to deal with that little time warp thing that he has going on there. Stick around for Proxy Time, Teferi Master of Time. All right, guys, today working on Teferi Master of Time. Uh, there's a couple things that, right off the bat, um, I actually got this art of this Teferi Master of Time. Uh, I do like the way this one looks. It is different than all the others, you know, the 20-some printings or whatever of this Teferi. And so, actually, that's why I went with this one, because it's the full art. All the other ones are look like this. Nope, not that one. The <laughs> Showing you all the art. Look like this bad boy. Uh, I think this is the one I'm going to work with. I mean, if I could use this full art like that, I like the way this looks better than this one. I may, if we have time, work on a second proxy with both of them, and I kind of have some ideas of what I would use, uh, do with this one. But for the most part, I think this is the one we're going to work with today. I'll keep these two up there. Uh, and I would normally use this. This would save me some time. But there's uh, two things that uh, hold me from using this card in particular. Uh, if I start using this, you see how they're, they're, the Tefiri is walking through the time portal. You can see that in this picture here. It, he isn't doing that in this. So blending this, I'd either have to really make this opacity really see through to get rid of the him walking through, plus his head right there. Or I go with this kind of version. It's going to be a little bit more work because as I'm going to be taking this in, I might as well just start doing that because that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, when I start taking that, I'm going to have to kind of paint that once I actually stamp this on there. So first things first. Well, you know, first things first. You go and find it. Check it out. Find it on Scryfall is where you find the actual card. Just do a Google search. Say I did Teferi Master of Time Art. Found that. Got some pretty high quality one there. And that's how we're at where we're at right now. So let's start getting this all highlighted. So I kind of did do a little test run ahead of time because there's some interesting things. And we'll get into that when we uh, let's see. This is going to be a lot of painting with this one. Um, but with this one, I had some cool ideas with that circle. See how it's kind of going over the front of the text already. I, I think I'm going to do a little bit of distorting. Now you can kind of check out... When I first kind of learned that a couple uh, episodes ago, of how to actually use some of the distorting tools. And I'm going to use, uh, what did I write down? I actually gave myself a note so I could get back to it. But I'm going to be using the ripple effect. Uh, and that'll add, it actually looks kind of cool. So I just tinkered with it just to kind of see how it looked ahead of time. And so I get a little jump on it. Because if you guys saw last week's episode where I used uh, Hall Breacher, uh, Hall Breacher, I spent... Probably 20 minutes of that episode just trying to decide what I wanted to do. So I kind of wanted to be a little bit more prepared with this one, especially with the complexity of this one. Um, I just wanted to be have it all done ahead of time. So we are going to run into that little issue there, but I don't think that'll be a problem because once we paste him on to the other Tefiri, I believe, let me look what I'm going to be doing there. Yeah, we'll be having his head come through there anyway, so that's not a big deal. Well, let's get as much of this as possible there. Bottom there. Bottom there. All right. Get a little bit there. We do have a, like a slight bump on this side. It's not a huge deal. Enough to bother me a little bit. So we're just going to go like that. Look about right. Yep. Everything connects pretty well there. All right, let's move down. Make sure everything else is caught there. No letters are missing. No numbers. This is fine. That is fine. All right, I think we're good. So, Control C. Let's get it pasted over here. Now we're gonna have to shrink it down. Yeah, this one. I just think every blue deck should have this card because it has built-in removal in a way because you're using. I messed with that a little bit. Let me redo that. 
Um, but it has a built-in removal with it. Uh, you have your draw, so you can draw a discard. You could do this multiple times because you can do it on everybody else's turn. Um, I think they did it. <laughs> it was a good thing they printed so many because I think this card would be over $50 right now if they just did the normal wizard print run. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit. Well, I, I want to see how I want to frame this a little bit. So I don't like all that at the bottom, so I for sure want to cut out you know, the text stuff here. I, I can either cut it out or I can paint it. That's another thing. That's maybe what I'll do is paint it because this kind of fits on here pretty good. Uh, let's see. Our sides are good. Top and bottom's good. That might be good right there. So I'm trying to see our spacing maybe down a little bit. I can use the arrow key to easily do that. Now, if I want to get rid of that text stuff down there, might as well hit it up right now. Uh, let's zoom in. So when you're doing it this way, we got to get on the background. We're just going to use the stamp tool. So alt it and you're just going to let go and just start drawing. See, and that's maybe why I want to cut it out. This is going to be, eh, I guess it's not too bad. I just don't want it to look shitty. <laughs> this is the key. I don't want this to look shitty. All right. So we're going to bring that up like that. Let's see how it's a little darker than I painting this on there blending it a little bit uh, we're gonna get this a little smaller so it doesn't look like i have did not like that brush stroke now let's zoom out and just kind of look at it it is a little bit noticeable more than i would like and i don't want to spend a ton of time on this so it is something you could totally just you know blend that in but i don't think i want to waste my time on just getting that one i can just cut off the bottom just a little bit there so we're gonna back up on this a little bit just because that's the easy way to do it all right so zoom out we'll get back to this tool let's shrink it up a little bit all right so tafiri we want and the grass isn't a big deal anyways that's not something we're focused on with this card it's more of the time warp ability looking you know it's it's making something phase out so that's the cool thing so let's crop it out let's get it out of there And we know we're just going to do that. Get rid of that. My sides. Let's bring this in a little bit. Balance everything out. Top a little bit down. I think that looks pretty solid. All right. Now we have a card to work with here. Let's bring this so it's a little more see-through. There we go. All right. So you want to see the first thought of what I want to do with it. Oh, wait. Let's get everything good to go. Because what I'm about to do here, it's going to distort things. And I will not be able to edit once I get to that point. So that's going to be our last step. So let's clean up everything that we did when we brought it over. So right now we have this and this we need to get rid of. So now back to our background. Alt, stamp, stamp again. Come back to layer one. Let's get this oh, uh, other way. Easy way to do it um, might be just to go with this tool here because then we can get both sides and it's nice and straight across. Boom. Got rid of that. Got rid of that. Let's clean up anything if there was something there. There shouldn't be, but all right. Let's go deselect it. That looks good, but you have these little, these little cliffs there, and I do not like that. Do not like that, Sam. I am have kids, so that's kind of on the brain all the time. Uh, there, we're cleaned up. I think that's pretty clean. Maybe a little bit on that side. Let's zoom out and check it out. Yep, solid. All right, let's check out the top. I think the rest of the image is fine. This is the part where I should be checking this first, but this is when you'll see like, oh, damn it, I missed a letter, and you'll see that it's like the background showing through. But luckily, we did not miss any of that. So top, um, I think it looks fine. Again, this part's wonky, so we do want to clean it's there. It was a pretty good match of where his head was there. Uh, but what I do want to do is get some of this to come through. So most people know, is it even on the card? I want to make sure to fear master time. So you know what his name is. This part doesn't matter if I go right over the top of it like that. Now, I don't want to get rid of all this because 
what the effect I'm going to be doing is going to look a lot better if a lot of this is still here. So actually what I should do is test this out. Once I get this messed with, and I really just want that first row. Hope that got a little more than I wanted. Let me zoom in a little bit so I can be a little more precise here. Once I get this first row of shard or whatever this is, you know, the time. Oh, do I want that? Yeah, that looks fine sticking through there if I zoom out. Yeah, because then it just looks like it's a part of the portal there. Okay. Uh, let's mess with this really quick. I, I'm going to remember I got to take this out of there. I, I, I like having the set removed because it's not actually from a set, you know, because this is a proxy. It's not uh, actually made there. I just one other thing I'm looking at here is this is pretty thick up there. So I'm going to get rid of a little bit there. That looks much better. It's thick all the way around. So we may just do a little bit of removal there just to. Not have those lines stick out so much because that will catch my eye. All right. Let's see if that did what I wanted. Yep. And I'm kind of fine with it being like this because now it looks like a shadow. Uh, we'll clean up this little edge right there because there's that cliff again. We just want to smooth that out like that. All right. I think that's where I want to be. Clean up that edge again if we're trying to make that look like a shadow on the other side. That looks better. So let's do the effect first and then just see how it looks. And then I'll back up a little bit, get rid of that um, the M21 symbol. And then I got to figure out where to put my symbol. So this is a pretty fast one only because I kind of messed with it ahead of time. So I kind of got a little advantage there. Uh, now I can actually see this stuff. Okay, there we go. So oh, distort is kind of the one that does the fun stuff that you can do. And like I said, I'm doing ripple. And I already have it at the 29%, but I did want to show you kind of what it looks like when you mess with this. So you can do large ripples, medium ripples, or small. And then depending on how you move, it distorts the image that much. So I was at 29%. And I did large because this is kind of a large thing here. And I, I want to zoom in again to show you when you start messing with this more. See how it makes it look like it's ripples. Ripples. Not nipples. All right. So 29%. See, it kind of gives that little something's going on here. So I kind of dig that. That worked out perfect. Oh, man, that looks really good. Okay. I love the way this looks. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to back it up, get rid of the M21 symbol. Then we'll put the ripple effect on. Then we'll throw the symbol in there. I don't think I want to mess with anything down below because that ripple effect is what it, it looks like Tefiri is causing this shock wave. It's not a shock wave. We know it's like the time thing, uh, putting somebody that phasing out or whatever, but that's... It really gives a sweet effect there. So control Z, get rid of that. Let's stamp tool and get rid of this. So we got to make sure we're on layer one. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can be a little bit more precise. We are stamping. So I'm not going to have a lot of room here to work with. So I'll be here. It's going to be a lot of stamping and restamping. Stamp again. Yeah, starting to reach to Fury there. And there, oh, it's catching that, that edge right there. Let's control Z that. It gets a little tedious after a while, but it'll turn out solid. And actually what you can do, if you get enough room, the problem is this so long. Legendary Planeswalker Tefiri takes up a lot of this. And this is a rather large uh, symbol set because it's a M21. It's not just a simple symbol you know all right talking and not paying attention to what i'm doing go a lot faster if i was not talking but then why would you watch this video if i wasn't talking all right i'm not done by by any means i'm just getting the main chunks out of there so once you get it cleared out then you can kind of let's start on this end and then work our way across 
lower part. All right, that's going to show through. So we'll start down here, and that should be able to get rid of most of that. A little bit there. Okay. Zoom out, zoom out. Perfect, perfect. And especially when you do the ripple, you well, you can't see it now. It turned out amazing. All right, get rid of that. Let's do our filter. Go to distort. Go to ripple, 29%. Boom, looks solid. Now, I think with the symbol, you see his little staff there? Tafiri's staff, I think we're gonna throw it between here. We don't wanna cover his face, so it's gonna be almost like kind of Gandalf's staff in a way. So let's get that right there. All right. Got the CS on there. Looks good. Looks good. Control C. Oop, wrong one. There we go. That's going to be big. Put that on there. Let's shrink her down. Yeah, this card is just amazing. It wrecks games. Like, it, it does it. It's not an automatic winner, but if people don't deal with it, that person is most likely going to win. Uh, so it becomes a target, but the thing is, is like, you know, a lot of cards, when you play really good cards, you're like, ah, oh, I hope it just makes it around on my turn. Well, this sucker just, it has protection on itself. You have draw to it. And if you are able to get around to, you know, you go around, it comes in with, what is it? Three counters. So you're playing with three other players. You do it on your turn. You do it on the next player's turn, the next player, the next player. By the time it gets back to you, it's at seven. So by the time it gets around to about to be your turn you can ultimate and take two extra turns you can even do that when it's on another player's turn so it's just it's a card that you should be using if and i think over time this sucker is going to be really expensive so uh all right unless they start printing the hell hell out of it so but yeah all right so we got the cs on there we got to make this look legit so first things first let's Bring it down a bit so it's not so crazy. We need to be able to see through so I can start editing stamp tool through. Is it okay? That fits kind of perfect with the uh, with the prongs there. So shrink her down a bit and let's. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> uh, let's do our stamp. We got to get the background. I forgot that I did that already. All right, now let's go through. Bring that there there uh, that's gonna look nice make sure that we have that covered there that it's I mean it looks like it I'm pretty zoomed in at this point so now let's zoom back out and we need to bring this back up a little bit so you can see that it's actually there that looks pretty sweet well there we go all right, well, that should do it. I think that's it for today. Yeah, that's a great Tefiri Master of Time. I would like to do this one as well, but like I said, I, I really like how this turned out. And really, if I make one with this guy, it, he just doesn't look as threatening. The, the, his eyes being this way and the ripple effect really, really makes this card pretty dang solid. So, all right, well, that should do it for Proxy Time, Tefiri Master of Time. I'm Adam Smith from the Commander Smith. You can check our podcast out on YouTube. Best thing you can do here, subscribe to our show. Check out any of the other Proxy Time videos. Uh, should be listed at the end of this video. Uh, until next time, we'll see you next week or whenever. We'll see you. Bye. See ya. Uh, stick around for proxy time to Fury Time Master. Damn it.